Great looking and feeling younger. How about your skin, your face? Cutting calories may be the key to turning back the hands of time. Researchers at the University of California, Irvine, found that a low calorie diet is the link between your body's biological clock and the impact of aging. The study says that a low calorie diet keeps your body's metabolism up and that active cells help us to look and feel younger. And joining us this morning to tell us more about it is the Diet Diva, registered <laughs> dietitian and our good friend, Tark Hollingwood. So great to have you back. Thanks Thank for coming you. to see Thank us. Thank you. Okay, so I, I love this study because yeah. I think everybody's looking for whatever it is, that trick, right? The fountain of youth. Right, whatever. Is it Botox? <laughs> yeah, is right. it the special cream that right, I spent $100 right, right. Well, on? Of course they are. Right. Yes. Or is it changing your diet? Yeah. Well, and, and we know that obviously when you nourish yourself from the inside out, it will help to prevent aging. And, right. and what the study found and what's interesting is that anything that's related to aging, disease, you know, it, it's all inflammation. And what causes inflammation is oxidative stress. I'm not going to get too sciencey on you, but <laughs> all of the stuff that we get exposed to in life creates oxidative stress, especially smoking and all that. Right. So the foods that we have here and a low calorie diet can actually change how your cells response and can help, again, keep you healthy from the inside out by preventing that oxidative stress that attacks the cells. Okay. All right. So let's talk. Talk about it, some of the foods that you brought, and, and I think you look at this table, and it, yeah. everything looks delicious. But right. let's talk about what you really need yes. to be doing, because I think a lot of people don't even know yeah. how many calories they right. should eat. Right. right. And this study specifically, so so you want to say you know low calorie or reduced calorie. What this study looked at is 30 percent reduced calorie. So when we say low calorie, that doesn't mean starve yourself, because that can create more stress, right. which then will age you faster. Okay. <laughs> so there's Good a fine to know. line between how much to kind of go lower. So okay. 30%. So even if you don't necessarily change what you're eating, but change how much. And this isn't about weight loss. It's about just reducing the calories so that you change how your cells respond. Okay. But in general, so here's some examples. Instead of, you know, and there's nothing wrong with pasta, but trying to reduce calories, right. you can use, you know, the, the spiraled zucchini or the spiraled, uh, you know, sweet potatoes. We've got the riced cauliflower here. So you can do that. You can okay. uh, cook it up and mix that with potatoes to kind of change how much potato is there to right. the cauliflower. You've heard of, you know, the, the cauliflower potato yeah, thing. Right. Um, or you can just do rice cauliflower in a lot of different applications. So obviously okay. fruits and vegetables, the way to go. We've got tons of fruit here as well. And people always say, oh, isn't fruit high in sugar? Yes, but it's natural sugar. And right. I've never seen someone fat and old because they eat too much, <laughs> you know, eat a banana. People right. are like, oh, bananas are so high in calories. No, they're not. They're eat good a banana. for you. Eat it. You <laughs> need the potassium. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. And the other thing is grains. Grains are not a no-no. So this is a combination of brown rice and quinoa. It's a 90 second, second packet. You stick it in the microwave. It's oh, so easy. So it doesn't nice. have to be that you cook for hours either. 90 seconds and you've got right. a whole grain. Popcorn here, if you're looking for a snack. Popcorn is actually a whole grain and it's very low calorie. Of course, you can't drown it in butter. <laughs> but <laughs> that I won't you know. help you. Yeah, okay. and there's a lot of packaged ones out there that, sure. are, that are very low calorie, that are, you know, the skinny kind. Okay. And then, of course, protein. And protein is going to help to build and repair the cells in your body and the, and the muscles in your body. And so, as lean as you can get. We've got, you know, Greek yogurt is good. The egg whites are good. Chicken, you know, any of the deli meats, yes, they have some sodium in them, but right. again, it's all a balance of what you're doing. And so trying to just stay on that lower calorie side of things and fill up with things that like the fruits and veggies, some whole grains, a little bit of, of protein. And, and at the end of the day, it's portion size. Right. So think 30% less. If I can eat 30% less today than I normally would do, and you do that over time, sure. Sure. That's huge. And I would say, I love that. Remember the hand trick. Don't eat more yes. than right. Right? <laughs> Isn't that such yeah. a... Using your hands yes. as a guide. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Right. That's All a right. good, I love that's it. And if people want to check on their calorie count or what yeah. they should be eating, Tara, where should they yeah. go for that so information? So there's tons of apps that you okay. can do, and that's what I encourage people to do, is keep track. You know, if you have no idea how many calories you're eating right now, go to MyFitnessPal. Go to Lose It. Go to, you know, some of these apps where you can start logging everything you're doing. And some of them you can scan a barcode. So that bar, that meal, that whatever you can scan the barcode and they have restaurants in there so you know it's it's all about awareness right. and knowing how much am I doing now and then cut 30 percent and might help reduce those wrinkles yes. a little bit you'll look better you'll feel better Tara <laughs> how can our viewers find you uh, dietdiva.net is my website thank you so much right, for being with thank us thank you